The worst punishment in human history. With the bad and slowly work our way towards the stuff of nightmares. Number 10, the right. rat dungeon. If the you what? were alive in London, England during the medieval period, you would have definitely heard about the rat dungeon. Since this what punishment dungeon? struck paralyzing fear into the hearts of even the most hardened criminals. This was a cell that was located at the bottom of the London Tower, where prisoners were shackled and chained in complete darkness. Okay. But here's the thing, the dungeon was connected to the nearby river and just below the river's waterline, so that when the water levels rose, all the rats that lived along the riverbed would be pushed out of their shelters and forced to swim down stream. This would of course lead okay. the hungry and angry rats no, towards the me. entrance of the dungeon, where they would then come face to face with the prisoner. No, but to the unlucky prisoner, he never actually saw anything, and all he what? would hear were the soft scurries of the rat's feet entering the dungeon. And in a matter of minutes, these soft noises were in the hundreds and all around him. These Whoa. angry and aggressive rats would then begin to take small bites from the prisoner hey, who had no way of defending himself. Now he might be- Oh hell no! Nah. Y'all took my master splinter! Master splinter is now right! Oh no, 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 no! That is not it! I'm gonna get you by no rat! Hell no! Nah. Me personally, if that was me, I would hit that man with a- You see that? Yes, Mickey, shut your ass, oh, Mickey, you stupid rat. You stupid rat. But I'm a mouse. I'm a mouse, man. I'm a mouse. Shut up. What's the difference between a mouse and a rat? Someone tell me. Do y'all know what's the difference between a rat and a mouse? What? Between a rat and a mouse? I don't know. <laughs> I would feel. Oh, hell no. Nah. Us. Uh, ah, uh, we've. I need a new microphone. Why? What's wrong with my microphone? Wait, what's wrong with the mic? What you mean ain't even the microphone? For real? What you mean? Oh, it looks crazy? It looks crazy? <laughs> All right be able to shake the rats off for a few All hours right. but eventually the prisoner would pass out from pure exhaustion and All while right. he slept the rats would continue to take bites from his flesh Damn. eventually when he would wake up yeah, he would discover day. hundreds of bites throughout his entire body but it didn't stop there. The prisoner up, was Johnny? left here for days or weeks yeah, on end, reactions. depending on his crime. Reactions, but towards the end of the medieval period, this form of punishment just got more and more deranged, later, eventually later. becoming a form of execution, Damn. where prisoners Damn. would just be thrown in the dungeon and forgotten about. And Number eaten by rats, that is crazy. Number nine, the rat Man, I would've cook, I would've cooked all them rats though, that's just me. I, all them rats would be dead. I'll be eating them with my little, with my little stick of mm, rat food. This was yet another punishment that took place in the London Tower. Okay. The rack was a torture device that was used in many places throughout history. There, this form of punishment why. was originally designed for getting a confession, usually from criminals, slaves, okay. or prisoners of war. The device looked like a large ladder, but instead of secure steps, they would actually rotate like a rolling pin. You a see, when pin. a prisoner was placed on the rack, he would have his feet and wrists tied to a ratchet pulley system, where two legal officials would slowly tighten the ropes and Whoa. locking them in place, placing an increasing amount of strain on the prisoner's shoulders, hips, Damn. knees, and elbows Damn. with every single turn. This Damn. was all done to get information, but of course, a lot of the times the truth was not accepted as reality and the prisoner would then begin to say whatever he believed the officials wanted to hear. Sometimes Damn. it would work and the prisoners would be let go, while other times they would be tortured even more for lying. When the whole Damn. ordeal was over, prisoners were usually released with dislocated joints, but oftentimes they were left completely paralyzed. Damn. That was the case in England in 1447 when a 25 year old girl named Rats actually taste like chicken. Did you know that? If rats taste like chicken, I'm going to New York. And asked you New York. would be tortured on the rack for hours and hours on end and left completely paralyzed wow. after all her joints were dislocated. She was then wow. carried on a chair and burned alive at the stake. Wow. All this because she read and memorized scriptures from the Bible, which she preached in private to a small group of women. Which So she got tortured, left paralyzed, and burned on a stake, and all, lost all her teeth, and become a wrinkly old hag because, uh, she read the Bible? Oh, hell no. Nah. Were the exact women she refused That's to crazy. name and expose during her torture. 
You see, during this time period, if you followed any religion other than the Catholic Church, you better not say a word to anybody, including wow. your own husband, which was the person that turned her in. No, that's Number crazy. Number eight, keel hauling. This brutal punishment was carried out at sea on sailors who would steal or be violent towards others and would usually result in death. Keel hauling would start with a sailor having his arms tied with a rope, then looped around the entire circumference of the ship before being tied off to his feet. The sailor would then be thrown overboard while the group of men on board pulled on the rope to slowly drag him around the outside of the ship, including over what? the keel, which is how this punishment gets its name. But a lot of the times, the sailor wouldn't even have to worry Whoa. about it since they were dead before they ever reached it. Wow. Kinda just depends <laughs> on how hard the guys on the rope feel like working that day. Not only would the sailors be drowning and getting their backs and necks Whoa. broken on the keel, they were also getting sliced apart like a cheese grater by all the sharp barnacles on the outside of the ship. Wow. But if wow. By some miracle, a sailor actually happens to make it all the way around the ship without dying, one of three things will happen. One, he would be sent for round two and what? for sure be dead by then. What? Bro, I feel like if homie survived, you should just let him live, bro. That is crazy. Two, be freed and allowed back on the ship. Wow. Where he would then slowly die to infections. Wow. Or three, live the rest of his life single and being made fun of since he was now fully covered in scars from head to toe. Damn. Number seven, crushed by elephants. That's a now crazy ass one. Crushed by elephants is insane. That is insane. What the? Crushed by elephants? Crushed by elephants? What? we are getting to the part of the list where living is no longer an option. This form what? of punishment has been used by many countries throughout history, but was most recently used by India in the 19th century, which is really not that long ago if you really think about it. Like, your great grandma could have witnessed one of these. That's crazy. What type of crimes would you have to commit to be crushed by an elephant, you might ask? Well, Still apparently candy. if you fail to pay your taxes, that was good enough. You, be you better pay them taxes. You better pay them taxes, bro. Pay them taxes. <laughs> okay, you better pay them taxes, bro. Enough. And of course, stealing or being an enemy soldier was also a great way to become a tortilla. But the most disturbing case in history was when the fourth Mughal emperor of India ordered an enormous amount of criminals to what? be crushed to death in a single day. Simply because he was bored and needed some entertainment. The guy who forgot to pay his taxes, crushed. The man Damn. who stole an apple from the local market, crushed. crushed. The Damn. little orphan who jaywalked across the street, crushed. What? The man who murdered Not the little orphan, no! ...his neighbor and added his remains to a large pot of tomato soup, then fed that soup to his family and watched them eat it from the what? shadows with what? a creepy smirk what? on his face. Eh, uh, he's alright. Apparently- What? ...he makes a damn good soup. There are a few ways that this public execution goes down, but one thing always stays the same. There's always a guy on top of the elephant controlling its every move. And this was very intentional, as this was meant to showcase just how amazing the ruling class were. I mean, look at them. They can control an elephant. Nah, this is crazy. Now be impressed. The first method of execution was the one that you better pray for if this was going to be your fate. Here, the criminals would have their arms tied behind their back and their heads placed wow. on a pedestal, where it was then crushed like a grape by the elephant's wow. foot. Now, the second method is much more cruel. The criminal would be placed flat on the floor with their arms tied behind their backs. Then the elephants would be guided to walk over the person's body, no, and hopefully the criminal would die on the first go. But sometimes, they just end up crushing a leg or an arm, so the elephant then has to make a U-turn and try again, and again, and again. The final and worst way is when a highly trained Nah, this is crazy. This is crazy as hell, bro. This is this is crazy as hell. Trained elephant was guided to slowly crush the person limb by limb. They would first crush the arms, then the legs, and then poke holes in them with the tusk until eventually dealing the final blow to the head or torso. This is the more theatrical route that rulers like the fourth mogul love to take, and made for a truly traumatizing experience yeah, for crazy. everyone. Except for the fourth mogul. He loved it. Fourth Number mogul, weird dude. <laughs> fourth mogul, 100% a weird dude. He's a, he a crazy dude. He's a nut. He's a nut. He's a nut. Six. Impalement. 
probably one of the grossest and most cruel forms of punishment on the list. This has been used by a few countries throughout history, but was most recently used in Egypt in the 17th century, usually against criminals that were highway robbers, grave thieves, or anyone who would try and start a rebellion. This punishment would start by having a criminal lay flat on their stomachs okay. with their arms tied behind their back. They would then be sliced open with a razor to increase the size of their back door. And as soon as that incision was made, the cut would be lathered with paste what? to instantly stop the blood. What? They would then thrust in a long wooden stake that was the width of a man's arm, which was sharply tapered on one end. Then bro wanna chat, wanna say, I want this one so bad. Oh yeah, but we're cooked. They then begin to hit the wooden stake with the mallet, pushing it Why further it and further faces? in. And of course, the Why stake was greased up beforehand then? to make this process a lot smoother. And once Bro, the stake what? has popped out of the criminal's shoulder, head, what? or mouth, they were pretty much long gone. Bro, I've seen this joint, man. I've seen this joint in Castlevania, bro. I seen this joint in Castlevania. You ever watch anime Castlevania? That's what Alucard did to the one. That you know that one scene in Castlevania where it was Alucard and the two twins who tried to kill Alucard. He was like, and it was all sleep with the devil. They were like a devil three, someone like a, like two guys and one girl, but the don't do it. We're trying to sleep with the dude with some zesty stuff. So I guess Alucard's bisexual or some shit. But it was all trying to sleep together. And then Alucard was like, oh, I'm not gonna take that shit. So Alucard freaking, he did that to them. He he left them he left them boys in the stake. It was crazy. It's then planted next to a busy road, like a Halloween decoration, to remind everyone that this is what happens when you break the law. They will That's be crazy. left there for the yeah, entire yeah. day Captain and removed the following morning before the body begins to stink. But wait, there's another version of this as well. You see, on some occasions, the criminals would only be impelled just deep enough to keep them in place, but not too deep that it would cause immediate Bro, death. They would do this by having stakes that had a seated position on them to prevent the person from sliding down any further. Hey, they would then be placed on a hey, busy yo. road where they would suffer for hours and hours, pleading to people walking by hey, for yo. help until eventually succumbing to their wounds. No hey, yo, bro. They just got the wooden hole, man. They got that. They got them wooden cheeks, man. This is why y'all need to close y'all cheeks, man. Y'all need to close y'all cheeks. Number five, Poena Kule. Puena Kule is Latin for penalty of the sack. Whoa, and that's no. exactly what it no, was. No, just no. a lot more terrifying and cruel. This was an exclusive punishment for anyone that would murder their own family members. This was first seen in the okay. second century in Rome, but would later be used by the Germans in the 18th century. This all begins with a convicted murderer being placed inside a thick leather bag. But just to make sure the man isn't lonely, they would then add a dog, a rooster, a viper, and a monkey. I don't why, know why what the monkey? Why the monkey? these animals did to deserve this, but hey, at least the evil family murderer doesn't die alone. Once all the animals are added inside the bag, okay. it is then sewn shut, creating right? an almost airtight seal. Now you would think this would be horrible enough, but no, this is just the beginning. Because well, how does this get worse? How the hell? What the hell is wrong with bro's hand? What the hell? But how does this get worse? As soon as the bag is sewn shut, it is then tossed into the ocean. But don't worry, later on, these murderers would be given the option to either be placed inside the leather bag or be sent to perform at the Colosseum, what? where they can perform the act of being mauled to death in front of what? all of their loved ones and peers. What? You know, at what? least they had the option. Number four. I'll take the out, 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 okay. Rats. This is one of the most sick punishments in all of human history, and it involves the use of rats. I will cover Another two of them here rats, as man. they are very similar. The first use of this form of punishment dates back to 1568 right. during the Eighty Years' War. A Dutch leader named Diedrich Sonoy would it's often Diedrich use this Sonoy. method of punishment, which involved placing a rat inside of a clay bowl, then placing it topside down on a prisoner's stomach, chest, face, or groin. Then the back of the bowl would be heated with either a torch or some yeah, coals. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did I just pick they, so they added John? Is it because I'm black? Are you calling me a monkey? Oh, hell nah. You know what? You know what? You know what? I got something for you, Genghi. I got something for you. Ready? Oh, my God. Don't hide, you little people, because I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Nick. Like, what, what, what's up with y'all, bruh? 
What's up? Yeah, I bet y'all scared now, buddy. I bet y'all got nightmares now. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Causing the rat to go into a full-on panic, trying to escape from the heat. And its only way out was to burrow into the human. Once inside, it would okay. continue to chew and tear apart whatever was in its way, desperately searching for a way out. Eventually, the rat finds its Hold way out of the maze it. and survives. The same could not be said for the prisoner. Ew. But the second method Ew. was much, much oh, shut worse. Up. And Bro, call me a monkey one more time. I will literally go to your house and hit you with the... Oh, 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 ah, to the back of your head, buddy. All right, buddy. Do you want to get hit with that ooh, ooh, ah, to the back of your head? I don't think you want to get hit with that ooh, 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 ah, to the back of your head, boy. All right, that's all I got to say, gang. That's all I got to say. And was highly secretive since it was used under the guidance of the dictator Augusto Pinochet, oh. where he held power from 1976 through 1983. Oh. They called it the rectoscope. And I'm sure you have already figured out where this is going. Yes, it's exactly what you think. Please they would place a tube on a prisoner's back door, then insert a rat inside of the tube. The rat hey, would yo. then begin to burrow its way in. These people were so sick that they actually expected the prisoners to answer questions while this was going on. Eventually, the rat would find its way in hey, and begin yo. to move forward to find its way out. Nobody really knows how many people died from this punishment, but we do know that a ton of people went missing when this dictator was in charge. Number two. Come, Ja, I am ready and a hard monkey. Bro, hey, freaking yo, bro. Bro, all right, bro. All right, bro. You know what, bro? You're a bunch of banana eaters, okay? You're a bunch of banana eaters. All right, if I'm a monkey, you're a banana eater. You be choking on that Three. banana. Gibbeting. The last known use was in the early 1900s in Afghanistan. That's this all nasty. came to light in 1921 when the National Geographic published this image in their magazine. This was also used in the United States from time to time during the 17th and 18th century. One okay. notable example was in Boston, Massachusetts, where a few pirates were hung at the Boston Harbor, which served as a warning to any sailors that were approaching Boston. Now let's talk about England since they love this form of punishment so much. In England, this was used on traitors, up, murderers, Ryan? pirates, and thieves. But after the year 1752, the Murder Act was passed, which required that all convicted murderers must be put to death by being publicly dissected or what? by gibbeting of some sort. And what? over 134 confirmed people met this fate. The most common why? form of- But, but, but why? <laughs> gibbeting were actually cages and they looked like this it was an all steel cage that was shaped tightly to the <laughs> form of a human body which was so tight that it would yeah. not allow the yeah, person okay, inside game. to move they were then hung 30 feet or more off the floor usually on a public road or water hole to ensure that the most amount of people could witness this monstrosity but i can only assume this was more annoying than anything since every time you get thirsty and needed to fill up your container of water you would have to deal with the dying man begging you for a sip over here but the annoyance and torture of the public didn't stop there. Because after the criminals would die in the cages, the body okay. would be left inside to rot for years and years on end. With the locals complaining that the smell of death was so pungent that they couldn't even sleep uh. at night. There's even been uh. reports that some human remains stayed inside of these cages for over 20 years. Bro, leaving the human remains in the cage is, 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 is right now. EDP, what? EDP video right now? What the fuck? What do you mean EDP video right now, gang? What do you mean? before a government official would finally remember to clean it out. Number two, scalpism. What the hell is this, bro? That looks disgusting. What is a scalpism? What is this, bro? This was a form of punishment that was used by the ancient Persian Empire on <sighs> anyone that would be convicted of murder. First, the criminal would be placed inside of a boat on their backs Let's and tied nonsense, down. Man. The boat had four <laughs> holes cut out so that the person's Earth? arms and legs would be outside of the boat and in the water. They were then force-fed large quantities of honey and milk until oh. their stomachs were visibly full. Ew. They would then proceed to lather their entire body with the milk and honey as well. After oh, no. all these steps were completed, he was then pushed out to the middle of the lake where he was completely exposed to the heat of the sun. But the sun would soon become the least of his worries. You see, the reason they fed him milk and honey was not because it was a great last meal, but because this combination causes a person to get extreme diarrhea, which mixed Ew. with the sweet honey attracts rodents, bugs, wasps, eh? bees, what's flies, up with the, what's up with them, bro? and whatever other animals live near the lake. After being... That's all 
all I gotta say is brother Ugh. Being tormented by the animals throughout the entire night, you would think that the daytime maybe gets a little better. No. Because as soon as the sun rises the following day, the person inside of the boat gets another gigantic meal of milk and honey and an additional lathering. This would be done on a daily basis to prolong the punishment what? for as long as possible. What? It was also well documented that the rodents would continuously attempt to burrow inside of the person what? through their back door. They were probably trying to get a head start on their next meal. A writer named John Sonares wrote in great detail about one of these incidents. He would go on to say that it was one of the most horrid and cruel forms of punishment since it was terribly long and seemed to have no end in sight. He wrote a- What the hell bro? This is disgusting as hell. What is wrong with my mic? Alright. About a man who survived for an entire 17 days before he finally died okay. from his wounds. Apparently the man spent his last few days with his entire face completely covered with wasps and his flesh rotting away filled with swarms of parasites and worms, all while being covered in his own filth. Brother, Number uh, one, the oubliette. oubliette. What the f- What the f- is a oubliette? What the f- is a oubliette, gang? What is a oubliette? Someone please tell me what's a oubliette. Yeah, it simply means to forget in French. This was a punishment that was used in many places throughout history, including in the London Tower, which had a small and confined room called Little Ease. Not only was this room pitch black, it was also so small that prisoners could not sit, stand, or lay down while inside it, and they nah, would be left crazy. in this uncomfortable position for days on end. One of the most famous oubliettes is not the one in- WHAT IS A OUBLIETTE? the London Tower, but in the neighboring district of Warwick, inside of Warwick what Castle. Here, deep oubliette? underground in the castle's dungeons, is a very small and narrow cell, completely made of stone, which has a metal door to close it shut. Prisoners were tossed inside of the cell and forgotten about, as the okay. name implies. The prisoner would just have to sit there and wait for their inevitable death, which usually yeah. came in a few days from dehydration or starvation. Now, of course, this would be the best case scenario, because in reality, most of the time there would already be a rotting corpse inside of the cell to keep the new prisoner company. The previous occupier of the cell would serve as a daily reminder of his upcoming fate. But that's not the only companions that he will have, since the underground dungeons are completely infested with rats that have developed a taste for human flesh. Ew. But wait, there's more. These oubliettes existed in many of the castles throughout Europe, and in recent times, they have actually discovered these dungeons with dozens, if not hundreds, of human remains inside of it as proof that they were hardly ever cleaned. Like in Leap Castle of Ireland, where in 1900 during the castle's renovation, a worker found a small opening behind a wall inside of the chapel. This hole had an 8 foot drop that led Damn. to a large oubliette. And what the worker found inside shocked him, since it was filled with so many skeletons that okay. they needed multiple cartloads to clear it all out. But just when you think this section is over, it just keeps on giving. You see, there's been many stories of men who have been placed inside one of these dungeons and kept alive for years and years on end, surviving off crumbs of food and minimal amounts of water, prolonging their inevitable demise for as long as humanly possible. These cells what? were sometimes even placed on ground level so they can hear the voices and laughter of the people outside. An experience Damn. that they will never get again in this lifetime. I don't know, man. I was that was all brutal. That was brutal as hell.